in 10. Oh, 
playing anybody's shadow. We want to redefine how sports is walked. Now, if you go in the upper ball in Utah, I know what you guys think. I think Utah's pretty noisy. We had a chance to play there. So I kind of like Utah. But if you go in their upper bowl, they have a ratio where you get 79 people per bathroom fixture. Pretty good, pretty efficient. In our place, we're only going to have 27 people per fixture. <laughs> with the games tied in the fourth quarter. There's no question about that. Nature calls, we need you back in. Trust me. Our engineers actually, we have this little model that shows dots. People running, or not running, walking from their chair to the bathroom, grab some food, get back in their seats. And we timed and modeled how many minutes it's going to take for that to happen. With a solid crowd, not an empty building. And what we found in there is we can get you in and out, and you're not even going to have to hustle around like our guys do, like Terrence does, like Harry Wood, like Paul Wood and Kawhi. You don't have to hustle. You walk, you take care of your business, you come back, and you go to a timeout. You think, you think we've got that. You never know until it's real. I can tell you. The architect said we're putting in a whole lot more toilets than anybody else in the NBA. Sports with the Rams, the Chargers, now the Clippers. Whoa! Be pretty special. When you think about what you're getting ready to do, this this team really is at the top of everything. That's what we strive for, Jim. We just want to get to the top of anything. And that's, that'll start with a championship. Building's good, championship would be better. Staples, but when you're the third, third, tenant in a building, I mean, my goodness, we have the worst schedule every year. And uh, <clears throat> this will allow uh, this team to have uh, a, a schedule that's more fair and uh, also not be as taxing on the players. And at the end of the day, the most important thing are the fans going to enjoy this experience. So um, <clears throat> there's so many things in this building that you, the intricate things that are amazing. Uh, it's, it's for the fans. And uh, the the, can you see Steve up there with those people standing on his feet all the time <laughs> during the game? I think I could, honestly, I think I could see that and uh, uh, him being involved the way he is. So it's, it's a great moment from Inglewood. I remember, I think the, I think we started playing the form with 68, 69 season, I believe. I remember going in there, oh my God. <laughs> what an incredible building, right? And then I go to Staples Center few years later and I said, oh my God, what an incredible building. And I go to Memphis and a beautiful building in Memphis, Tennessee. Just gorgeous, fan friendly. Uh, then go to San Francisco and see this thing that they have up there and the, um, uh, the incredible innovation and stuff. Uh, it's just amazing building in itself. And now maybe the best building of all will be right here in England. Hey, Jerry, to what extent do you think this also helps the Clippers not be in the Lakers' shadow? <laughs> well, I, you know, as I say, the Lakers, oh my gosh, I mean, you know, you have to, if you've been around this city, the Lakers are probably the most sport, favorite sports team of all. And I don't think that's what they're, this in Steve's timeline. He wants his own identity. He also um, has been so philanthropic in things he does. This building, if you read, the, car, uh, the carbon emissions, I mean, everything has been thought out very thoroughly. But this is the building that, if you hear him talk, uh, his enthusiasm, that's who he really is. And it's amazing, this building will be amazing for fans. It will be amazing for even to go in there every night to see something different. And I just think it's gonna be the right time for this franchise. Stay, but when you're the third, third tenant in a building, I mean, my goodness, we have the worst schedule every year. And uh, <clears throat> this will allow uh, this team to have uh, a, a schedule that's more fair and uh, also not be as taxing on the players. And at the end of the day, the most important thing are the fans going to enjoy this experience. So um, <clears throat> there's so many things in this building that you, the intricate things that are amazing. Uh, it's, it's for the fans. And uh, the, the, <clears throat> 
Can you see Steve up there with those people standing on his feet all the time <laughs> during the game? I think I could, honestly, I think I could see that and uh, uh, him being involved the way he is. So it's, it's a great moment from Inglewood. I remember, I think, but I think we started playing the form with 68, 69 season, I believe. I remember going in there, oh my God, <laughs> what an incredible building, right? And then I go to Staples Center a few years later, and I said, oh my God, what an incredible building. And I go to Memphis, and a beautiful building in Memphis, Tennessee, just gorgeous, fan-friendly. Uh, then go to San Francisco and see this thing that they have up there and the, uh, uh, the incredible innovation and stuff. Uh, it's just amazing building in itself. And now maybe the best building of all will be real right here in Inglewood. Hey, Jerry, to what extent do you think this also helps the Clippers not be in the Lakers' shadow? Or well, I, you know, as I say, the Lakers, oh my gosh, I mean, you know, you have to, if you've been around this city, the Lakers are probably the most sport, favorite sports team of all. And I don't think that's what they're, this in Steve's timeline. He wants his own identity. He also um, has been so philanthropic in things he does. This building, if you read the, car, uh, the carbon emissions, I mean, everything has been thought out very thoroughly. But this is the building that, if you hear him talk, uh, his enthusiasm, that's who he really is. And it's amazing. This building will be amazing for fans. It will be amazing for even to go in there every night to see something different. And I just think it's going to be the right time for this franchise.